Hey guys, this is. He forgot my name. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm Evelyn Claire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Evelyn Claire, and I'm joining Nathan today. <laughs> and today we're going to be reacting to WebMD's 10 sex tips, because allegedly we have something to say about sex. I guess so. We've had a bit of it. I love talking about it. Yeah. I feel like we're the most qualified to talk about At it. At least, almost, yes. How much sex do you think we've had combined? How long have you been doing it? A while. I've been doing it for a while. No, like like in this job. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Eight years? Eight years. I've been doing seven and a half. I'm over eight. Okay. Uh, I know that I'm over a thousand Whoa. scenes. Really? I do. I did 200 scenes right after quarantine, like just from quarantine to Christmas. It's oh. Tired. Yeah. So I don't know how much of that sex I've had with all the extra, like this job definitely kills uh, having sex off camera though. Anyway. <laughs> I don't have a time. I can't nut as much as I want. I'm not a kid anymore. Lame. Stupid <laughs> shit. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, let's get this going. But we're also going to be doing Revere Seared Steaks with some other fun stuff in it. Cool. That's done. Stop. Dope. Five minutes left on the reverse here. So, here's that knife. And what I'm going to have you do first, I don't know why I gave you the knife, because we're going to do this. And this. Onion. We're gonna make some caramelized onions. So cut the things off there, and how you do it. Cut that, peel the skin, you know how you do it? Do you wanna see one first? I wanna cut onions with you together. Oh, that's not how this works, square pants. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Fuck, we got this. So let's see what the WebMD did. Mm -mm. There's a draft in here, and it's going to blow all these onions. Eh, no worries. Dogs like things. Yeah, let me get the trash can. Okay. All right. First one off the bat. Sex tips WebMD. Communicate with your partner. I hate that. Yeah, fucking... Why would you tell Don't them anything? Don't talk to me while you're fucking me. Shut up! At all. Just do what <laughs> you want and get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> How important is communication to you uh, when it comes to sex? It's pretty important. Yeah. I mean, knowing what someone likes versus not liking, which is probably, knowing what someone doesn't like is probably a lot more important sometimes. Mm -hmm. I agree. You yeah. know? Yeah. Do, would you say that like uh, sex in the bedroom, as in sex on set, is, you kind of have to do this about the same thing, maybe more, when it comes to communicating? That is a good question. Mm. Uh, uh, or would you say you communicate less because you can go more in emotion and feeling when you're actually just hooking up or fucking someone? Ironically, I feel like porn gave me better verbiage to explain what I want when I I'm having sex. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know. I, f I feel like until I did porn, like, I didn't really, like, have all the words to describe what I wanted and how I was feeling or like what to do, what felt good, mm -hmm. you know? Like I was just kind of like, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> I just like people <laughs> fucking me, it's super cool. It was good, yeah. so. I, uh, I, I think that my idea on how to communicate with people before porn was <gasps> so different. Let's do one more just cause that's, we're gonna need actually a lot of onions for this. That one's shit, this one's okay. Let's go with that one, do one more. Yeah, because I, I know for me, it's like meeting up with like people and hooking up. It was just kind of like, oh, you like this? Uh, touch the ball. No, not the ball. Okay, yeah, you want to be choked? How? Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like, and just kind of try to remember everything they wanted. But also, it's, it was easy to remember when you only have one or two partners mm. a couple, every couple months. It's a little bit tougher when you have a thousand. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, right? That's crazy. <laughs> It makes, it makes things just a bit difficult, but I, uh, I think I am happy I got better communication up to the point where I've, I have met people that are, um, they just want certain things from me and I'm like, I need to ask you questions so it doesn't go badly. And they're like. <laughs> like what kinds of things? Like uh, consent, non-consent. Oh, or, what an interesting topic that is. Yeah, or like, you know, stuff like that. 
Instead of using the mandolin, I think we're gonna, for just for this, cause it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. We're gonna try to do a thin slice right here. Oh, look at you. See, I, I've never been able to do a little kitten paw. So. Feels you, awkward to me. You wanna? No. No, no, so here? Oh no. Look at, look at, look at. Oh. See, see that the top thumb? See there where it's aiming? So look in here. Yeah. And then scoot the fingers back. Scoot the fingers back. See, scoot the fingers back. My left hand's kind of just for show, and it doesn't really like coordinate oh, with my brain. So. I've, I've, I've had your left hand on my dick. It works just great, okay? No, you sh then you should know that it, it doesn't work. It works fantastically. I'm sorry, puppy. And like, I got these nails right yeah. now. Well, so all you gotta do is from here, where you're right there, just bend your, bend them a little forward. So put those tiger claws there and then push the knuckles forward. Yeah, and that's that's your aimer. Oh. 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 <laughs> but so, uh, I Why am I shaking? <laughs> don't shake, don't shake, don't shake. Don't. No shaking. Don't shake? I don't know if, I, mean, I guess it helps, I don't know. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm, why am I nervous? Stop it, get away from me. I, 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 just, want, I just want to smell your skin. <laughs> The mm, onions. <laughs> oh, you smell like a winner. Go, oh, keep going. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, so I found that uh, people, there are certain people that are not in the business, even certain people in the business who almost don't, but then there's a lot more that do and it makes things very confusing because sex is already a confusing act with as many people as we have sex with. Yes. Yeah. It is troublesome. Troublesome. Hmm. Yes, yes. Yes. Next question. Yes. Trying new things in the bedroom. Like what? All right, well, that, that isn't up to interpretation. WebMD is not very specific on this shit. Yeah. I think these are just like things that people talk about and the, uh, the computer doctors or AI, I don't know who's telling us how to live our lives nowadays, is trying to put a nice bubble around uh, and see what people like. Shut up! <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> Stop it. I feel like that kind of comment is more for the men who like, you know, got their thing that they like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, the, there's just, you know, they got the, their position. Their position they like and they need. Yeah, and then anything outside of that, they're just like, Mwah. Have you ever, because um, I'm guessing in porn, we don't really have that problem because we have to change right. positions every five minutes. So in the sense of like, what you've experienced in your personal life, have you experienced a lot of guys who act like that, where it's they only they only have sex a certain way, um, and they just kind of stick to it because maybe one of their ex girlfriends told them this was a good idea? Yes, hmm. that was difficult. That last one was challenging me. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I've met a lot of guys that just they only they're self serving, you know, and. They, get, they find girls that they think are going to do whatever they want, you know, like. But there's a lot of really sweet guys that don't care about their own nut, you know? And mm. I find like those people are the best to have sex with because they're in tune with you. And they're paying attention to like, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to hold this onion together so much. Should I, like, you're faster. I, I understand I'm faster, but that's not the whole thing. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm just watching to make sure you're going to be doing everything, uh, not cut your fingers off. So far, we've only had one person cut their finger. I've never cut my finger cooking. It's because I'm too careful. <laughs> oh my god, he's so fast. Okay. Yeah, we would have been here for like four hours. No, we don't, you're almost done. <laughs> you're almost done. We almost have this all good. Um, yeah, no, and when it comes to like that, what do you, what do you tell a guy like when he's asking those those questions at the beginning like of what do you like how do you know which one's going to be a good guy to keep and a bad one to keep because it's like i think a lot oh switch places with me Sorry. i think a lot of girls will say a guy who doesn't care about his own nut but i don't think that's really the case i think it's a guy who wants to also see you have fun that i'm not, not crying by the way it's just the onions are yeah sure whatever the fumes. yeah just you're just so <laughs> enthralled yeah. with the conversation oh, that's so sweet <laughs> Because I agree with you. It's like there's, I, like there's plenty of times where I'm just like, I really just want to see you enjoy because, I mean, I think you know as well as I do, that's not every day for me where you get to have work with people who actually enjoy uh, having sex. Oh, yeah. So. No, there's plenty of people that it is just a job that they, you know. Yeah. yeah. And it kind of is a little bit of a bummer sometimes. So, 
it's really nice when you get to have that. And so I know like when I'm on set, I'm really trying to uh, find people who want to enjoy it. And it's like, so what do you do in that scenario? Like when, you, when a guy's like, hey, what can I do for you? Do, or like, does, or does that happen a lot or does it happen least when you're on set? I'm not sure if that made sense. Nope. Um. <laughs> it didn't make sense? <laughs> I feel like I just, you know. Sweet. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that fucking thing. Where is it? It's purple juice. Whoa. It's so pretty. <laughs> Where, there. Did you actually cut yourself? Huh? No. Just gonna do it like this, because once What's it gets down this? to nubbin, you can actually cut it like that. But basically, we're trying to get these. Little chips. Yeah, little chippies. So at first, when they're nice, when it's nice and big, you just go. Then once it gets smaller, just put that aside. <laughs> Don't use the small ones though. <laughs> go, go. If it's too small, just use the big ones. Fat, we yeah. want fat slices. Get them that fat cock. Also watch out for your thumb. <laughs> yeah, see, there he goes. <laughs> Sorry, that was dramatic. I... All right, see? I'll do it. That works out, right? Hold on, hold on. Oh, that's my nail. It'll go in the recipe, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I just mandolin my nail off. Yeah, see, this is why Which this is thing unfortunate is... unfortunate because it took me a long time to grow my nails this nicely. Well, at least you lost it on cooking with Nathan. The memory. <laughs> the memories. Treasure. The, re the regrets that you have. <laughs> why did I come on this fucking show? Oh, was it just that one? It was the thumbnail, too. The thumbnail, like, on for the show, or the thumbnail, No, like... my actual thumbnail. Oh, damn. Hmm. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just wish I had clippers right now. I have clippers. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Do you want to clip your nails on the show, or you I wanna... literally do, because it's a sensory problem for me. If I have sharp, pointy nails, or, like, a hangnail, like, I'm just, like, like, I have to resist it so bad. So sorry, guys. No worries. It's an emergency! <laughs> Cause then it's like it's all I feel. Oh fuck yeah! This is why I was so. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of those metal ones, the uh, Shark Tank ones. That's mostly my goal. Um, I'm just trying to, you know cut the uh, curb of the people I have to work with. Hey, yo, these uh, clippers are... They're strong people only. Uh, you want help? God, I can't... <laughs> okay, careful of these. There? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now I will not be distracted. Fantastic. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right. Yes. So. Let's get more potatoes in there. Anyway, we'll move on to the next question. Oh, well, actually, this this isn't just one. How many relationships have you had in this job? Hmm. Not many. No? Yeah. I mean, anyone I dated, it was for like maybe maximum of three months. Okay. I mean, my longest relationship ever was only eight months. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm, I just never... Just don't do it? Well, I would. Yeah. Just I would. It's just hard to find people that I actually like. And people I actually like are usually from other countries. Oh. And that long distance stuff is just like... Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. Yeah, we get you. Um, well, then, how do you schedule time for intimacy? Especially if you're looking for people uh, outside of the country. I'm sure that gets pretty hard. Yeah, I don't. You don't? Wait, yeah. sorry, Nathan, for the edit. Can you say, sex tip number three, schedule time for intimacy. Sex tip number three. Schedule Scheduling time. time for intimacy. Wow. <laughs> and then ask her that question again. How do you schedule time for intimacy? How do, How do you I... make time to fuck? Yeah, how do you make time to, to, to bump boots? Bump boots? Yeah. Or is it all just uh, content and uh, shoots for you? Well, you know, I don't want to, like, give it away, but, like, there's... 
There's, I have a few guys, though, that I'll hit up if I'm really, like, desperate and yeah. need something, you know? But I I just kind of go without. I don't, like, I would, I've would. always been so jealous of people who have, like, content boyfriends. Mm. Like, how nice that must be. Yeah. Like, just to have, like, a stable cock to gobble up whenever you want. I... I wonder what it's like to be God's favorite, you know? Why are you looking at me like I'm, I'm it, back into the... It's not your fault. <laughs> I, I don't get that. <laughs> I don't get that shit at all, man. I get a, I get a, like, I like, I have like a handful of girls that I just like, I, cause I'm so sick of hitting up random people to shoot with all the time. And also, what? <laughs> My eyes are still burning from the onions. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, the, the, the real issue is like, I don't want know who to like, like I always feel weird hitting people up because I don't want to sound needy. Uh. So it's like, I just kind of spot in the spot many times where I just go home and I'm like, I would really like to have sex with someone. I don't want to come off needy. So I just sit here with my dog. <laughs> it's too much work. Yeah, it's, it ends up being too much work and I spent yeah. too much time on set and I'm like, I don't want to do the work part. And so. when it's always content, then boom, again, it's work. Yeah, it just ends up being work. And sometimes I just want to have sex on a fucking camera. You know, I don't want to worry about the camera. I just want a little bit of intimacy, you know? Yeah. So, I feel you on the uh, content boyfriend or girlfriend. I also found out that it's like if you want that, you kind of find, have to find someone who's still kind of new and who's not working all the time. See, that feels predatory to me. Oh, well, yeah, like, I know that's what imagine, it sounds like. Imagine just like, mm, new talent. So, so here's, here's like I like to ch change that <laughs> because one of the things I found is like, it's not that I'm looking for new talent. I'm just looking for someone who actually likes to have sex. Oh, yeah, who's but not doesn't, burnt out yet. Isn't burnt out and doesn't work all the time. Yeah. So it's not, I don't give a fuck if they're new or like been in a while. Honestly, it doesn't matter to me. It's just the new people usually have more time on their hands. So it's like, oh. hmm. That makes sense. Because I know that like that comes off sounding very much like guy coming into the job looking for just I want new talent. I'm like, I don't give a fuck if you're new or old. I don't give a flying fuck. How much time do you have? Can you just come over when I ask? <laughs> yeah, can I just, I just want Sorry, some. Sorry, I have work tomorrow. Yeah, Can't. yeah. It's that like, sucks. or better yet, just, you don't, they don't want to answer the phone because they work all the time. They, they just think everyone's hitting them up and I'm just like, uh, you're just, and I don't want, and if I hit you up more than like six times and you don't reply back, yeah, no. I'm like, I don't want to hit you up because yeah. I'm afraid now I'm annoying you, so. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's so pretty. Yeah, that's why I got the, I think I got a different color ones. I love it. No, fuck, I'm gonna do the rest of these. Maybe another pink one. So I'm gonna pink potato. Pink or, pr yeah, pink. I got enough of the other colors. The pink ones are pretty too. <laughs> Everything's Sex pretty. number four, exercise. Oh, oh, oh. Sex tip number four, exercise. Do you exercise? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> What's kind of mean? I, I, I walk. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be like in between video games, like rounds. I'll be like yeah. doing like one of these or like toe We're, touches. Cause it, you seem like that, like that French lady who's just like looks fit, but all you do is drink wine and cigarettes, <laughs> and just like, oh sorry, buddy. Yeah, Pato's baby, baby. And just, just like. Mm. I drink baguette, I eat baguettes and chocolate. For, for lunch, we do something yeah. cool. <laughs> like eat a bar of chocolate, Jack, chocolate. cigarettes. And they eat some <laughs> aisle <island. laughs> Um, I mean, I work out. I, I take puddles on uphill walks, you know, and like, I try to just like do cardio like that. Okay. Um, watch out, puddles. Speaking of, get out, darling. You sweet, smooshy face. <laughs> yeah, because I always find that interesting because like, again, I. Sure. Uh, if it doesn't, if it doesn't seem like it, I work out a lot. You know. Really. Yeah. Really. Yeah, just a bit. This. Yeah. This is attained by working out. Apparently, but also I have had some gay dudes on the show, and they all have way bigger arms than I do. So maybe I don't work out nearly as much. Look at you, uh, what Derek Cage. <laughs> I think you work out enough. Yeah. <laughs> I just did an assessment, and you have <laughs> muscles. <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. good job. Yeah. <laughs> I try my darndest. All right, so now what? We are going to saute. No, we're going to caramelize onions. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do first. I think we'll use one pot for all of it. Uh, Nathan, if you could ask, is, uh, is shooting ex considered exercise? Do you consider shooting exercise? Mm. 
second. Still good. Well, it's not showing off. I just have it in there so I, because it's out of the way. And do you consider shooting an exercise? I think porn stars and content creators are athletes. Yeah, I'd say so. Sexual athletes. It's like, it is not easy. People can die from having rigorous sex when their bodies aren't, you know. Did you pour some oil in there? Uh, very true. Nathan, why do you strike me as a guy more? Yeah, a little more. Why do you strike me as a guy who would love to die with a woman sitting on his face? You know, I don't want you to tell me my business, devil woman. Um, Am I correct? I'm not, not it's not not correct. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, honestly, it depends on the woman, because I've met some chicks that I'm like... <laughs> if you're not really specific, the genie might give you Yeah. <laughs> like, I've met some girls, if you sat on my face long enough, I'm like, I'm going to fight back, <laughs> because uh, I ain't dying here. <laughs> no, no, this no. way. <laughs> this isn't where I want to be when Jesus comes back, scenario. Um, but no, there's definitely been a lot of times where I'm like, I'm, I'm good right here. I'm good to go. Fuck it. Oh, there was a long time ago where I was doing a scene and it was, I'm not really into big asses, but the, these particular chicks at the time, they, um, I was really turned on by the scene and they smashed my face together, my oh, face in between, goal, yeah. in between their butts or tits. I can't remember. I remember not being able to breathe and I'm just like, I'm not. No upset. one would be hurt. No one's by sad. Going out that way. Yeah. They'd be like, they, he died doing something He's he loved. There. Onions going there. There you go. And what you want to do, stir those around, and you want to get oil all over them. And we're going to kind of do a fast uh, version of this just because usually it takes about 30 minutes to caramelize onions. Yeah. So we're going to kind of speed through it a little bit faster, which is, you know, some people are going to bitch about, but fuck them! Because this, uh, this part's not going to be in the actual footage. Text tip number five, take your time. So sex tip number five is something that I think that uh, we don't get the choice of in the job that we're in. Yeah. Which is taking your time. <sighs> um... Yeah. I, I get upset by this sometimes because there's plenty of times where I really want to eat a girl's pussy for a while, but I can't because I have to be like, eh, you know, on the side of it. <laughs> and so I can't, it's like, it's real hard to give yeah. a girl a good time when you can't really do the job right, right? Mm. Um, and I don't know how you feel about that, like, with everything you do, but uh, it's annoying to me. Okay, we need five minutes of this position. Yeah, yeah five minutes of this. And you need to come. I can't. No, Come. I can't. Well, fake it. God damn it. This isn't about you. No, make me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm a, I need time. I'm a, I'm a slow burning, you know, like, I need to be completely relaxed or else I cannot come. If I'm in so performer mode, I cannot come. Yeah, I can't. If I am wondering how my ass looks, yeah. am I open enough for the camera? I'm not going to come. Dude, I can't. I, I'm blown away if any girl can actually come. It's like makes me question a lot of the girls can come on set. Oh, oh on set. Yeah. Oh, sorry, wait. sorry. You don't believe in the female orgasm. No, 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 I don't. I think that's a myth. And it's just, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it, the Never female orgasm's it. right up there with the book of Lord of the Rings, okay? I just and don't Sasquatch. believe in it. Yeah, Sasquatch. I, and the polar bear. None of this shit's real. Polar uh, bears are real. <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> not but for like, long. Not for long. <laughs> bye bye, polar bears. But it's, okay, so in your, let's go personal life and we'll go on set, yeah. right? In personal life, what do you, how do you get that to work? Take, take your time, because I know, I'm sure a guy, if they met you and they've seen your porn, they're kind of like, yeah, and they just want to fuck the shit out of you. They might have weird expectations, yeah. but I've been fortunate to find guys that are really, like, they just want to please me. They mm. want to prove to me that, like, they're as good as the people I've fucked on set. That, which they might be better because of that. They usually are <laughs> because the sex on porn is not Wait. really working for me usually. We're, we're just good at having sex in really uncomfortable positions. We're really good at looking good at yeah. having sex. Ooh, remember our <laughs> staircase scene? Oh my God, that was the worst shit. I, I blocked that out of my mind. Yeah, that was, it was, that was, uh, do you mm, want to talk about that? No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of having taking your time, guys, we did a scene where we had to have sex going up a staircase 
and it was the most uncomfortable day I've had in a while at that point. And uh, Evelyn here was being amazing. Dude, um, I, I do you remember my problem that I was having that day? No. So I um, had used one of those chemical foot peels like a week ago. And of course that was the day my feet decided this is a great time to peel. And so I had those stockings on, but I didn't have a garter to hold the stockings up. Yeah. So the stockings are falling off, but I need them on because my feet are like going reptilian mode. Just, oh, oh and I could feel the, the, the skin slowing off inside my heels. And, oh. and then meanwhile, I have to fuck you. Yeah, and, it was just, and I was having a hard time because it was just- You're I, on the staircase yeah. like that. It's like, what, we can't do reverse cowgirl? I'm like, dude, I'm so fucking uncomfortable right now. If you have never laid on the like a staircase and tried to like you know, no. you'll, you'll realize quickly it's not ergonomically efficient. So wait, are you saying that porn and porn sex isn't like at home sex? In porn, the more uncomfortable the position, uh -huh. the better it looks on camera. So shitty. So. There's that. <laughs> yeah. It is an absolute fucking bummer halftime, right? There you go. Yeah, yeah, I find those absolutely terrible. But yeah, so you found a lot of guys at home who just want to please you and actually take their time. Now, what does that look like, like taking their time with you? Is that a lot more pussy eating, a lot more kissing, a lot more oh, yeah. touchy feely lots stuff? Lots of pussy eating. Mm. Um, and I, you know, I don't go into performer mode in personal life mm. because it's so obvious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, they Fuck know. Fuck me, daddy. They know. Yeah. Especially if they've seen my porn. They know when I'm like, oh, yeah. Fake. Do it. Do what? She's faking. Yeah. She's faking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so good, Daddy. Fuck. No, this this last like one of the last guys that I one of the last guys that I uh, was playing around with. That sounds um, like a good story already. <laughs> I, I was sitting up like he was gonna eat my pussy, and I was sitting up on my elbows, and he pushes me down, and I was like, mm. yes. Yeah. I can just relax. That's I, so nice. I never got when like girl, like anytime I've been at home with a girl and she's like, she's staring up like, dude, no, put a pillow behind well, you if you want. Yeah, if I you want to watch, watch, put a pillow. Cause I don't give a fuck if you're like this. I don't care. <laughs> it's like get down there, girl. I want to see you enjoy. Wait, show me your double chins. This is what it's like <laughs> when people eat my pussy. <laughs> That's all she sees. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've never actually looked up at a guy when I'm blowing him to see if he has a double chin or not. Dude, I, how many VR scenes I've done, I know there's a lot of girls who've looked up and either seen this, <laughs> or like have seen, seen just like, I've had times like at the beginning because it's like so, I'm so bored when the girl's like eat, getting her pussy eaten by the camera or not. Oh, I'm just like this. The worst. I'm just, huh, huh. And so like there's so many times where I'm trying not to fall asleep because I'm so tired at that point from doing doubles. Oh man, it must yeah. be so hard. It sucks, it sucks real bad. <laughs> I hate VR. Oh, I hate it so much. Anyway, but so when it comes to on set, what are your big gripes with the not taking the time? Because obviously we can't right. because of, you know, time and the director just wants to get out so we can go get drunk or mm. go watch the game. Right. What are your big gripes with um, the way that's handled and not being able to take time for the lady? You know, especially if they want like a big orgasm. Yeah. You know, how many times do we stop production because the guy needs to go jerk off in the bathroom to get hard again? Yep. Yeah. Like, why can't, I don't know, like, hold on, can, can I, can we just, like, the industry's, uh, like, they're so scared of um, toys. Yeah. Like. Or lube. It's, it's interesting when they're worried about lube. You know? Really? I've seen companies that, like, like don't have or don't bring it, or I've seen companies who want to. You wanna, spit. Yeah, you spit it, or they want to dump it on there. Uh, like. Sex tip number six, use oh. lubrication. Oh, fucking A. No way. Oh. We'll come back to that one in just a second because we announce it. Yeah. Okay, sex tip number th six: lubrication. Now, I I'm not sure about you. I think we're in the same ballpark as me. Is why use lube? I like to go in dry as fuck and just feel that sandpaper pussy just rubbing against my dick. I love it when a guy's trying to fuck me, but he can't because he can't get inside because my walls are dried like the Sahara. Mm. Shove it in loose, see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 
This is a PSA from us. I feel like I feel like I have a very wet pussy. <laughs> like I don't mean to brag. Mm. But I've, I've felt it. It's yeah, a, there's it's, something happening in there yeah. that's just like a perma water park. Which honestly, good on you because I've met some girls who are not that way. And now that could just be because of me. Maybe I'm not. I, I could see that being a thing. But also, it could be maybe it's just not as much of a thing for them. Maybe there's something wrong with their well, whatever. nerves. Nerves. You know? And like I, I been so excited for a scene and I'm all wet in the car and then I get on set and I'm dry. Dude, I've been hard, I've been hard for is. a scene going to one and then get there and nothing. <laughs> so Real. feel, so how do you, uh, like do you just feel like it's totally cool just to ask for a lube on set or? Oh yeah, dude, yeah, I'll be like, I need whatever. Like I, no. I there's the people on set who are watching you get fucked can do something. Mm, true. Someone, true. someone out there can grab the fucking bottle. Like, no POV though. Like, you know, it's just like you're shooting content with somebody. Yeah. Then it's did, just like, hold on, I need some lube. When you first started, did you ever feel like you couldn't ask for things like that? No, my first scene um, was for Vixen and Blacked, so they were like, if you need anything. Your first scene was for Vixen and Blacked. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're a big name performer as soon as you got in, I forgot. <laughs> kind of a famous person right off the bat. <laughs> you know. Wait, I, you know what I think? I think when I first started, I was doing background on a Vixen set. I think I did one for you. No. Huh? No, like when no. I was, no, when I was like, you know no, what you were not. No? No. You sure? I would have remembered. No, you would have. <laughs> yes, I would have. Oh, fine, oh. I remember a lot of things, except that staircase scene. Yeah. I tried hard to forget. <laughs> How am I caramelizing? Is this looking? We're getting good. Getting there. So see these big ones? Yeah. So I'm gonna let that kind of like get a little bit translucent, more translucent, yeah. then we're gonna dump some water in there and get all the sugars off that. Mm. Yeah, fun fact, onions have sugar in them. That explains so much. Yeah, right? So when you see people from the South be like, no, I put sugar in my brown, in my caramelized onions, I'm like, you're a fucking You don't idiot. need to because you don't. they already have sugar. They ha I have sugar in them, oh. it's good to go. But what if you really want like a sticky onion? I mean, you can do it. I'm just saying you don't fucking need to, and you don't need to add more sugar to something that you can pull the sugar out. Oh. Yeah, that, but, you know, I, I know, I'm stupid. And people uh, don't you agree know, with me. You know, Nathan, my... yeah, the but... way other people cook could be just fine. Uh, no, gross. That's dumb. <coughs> I don't believe in it. In a relationship, would you allow your woman to cook, or would you need to control the kitchen? It's not that I need to control the kitchen. If your food's better than mine, then I'll let you cook. What if it's not? What, well, if, what if she's a mediocre then do, cook? Then do we really want to play the game where we're like, mmm, yes, this is I do. so good. Yeah. I do. Yeah? I want to see if you can act. I, I, I would make something terrible hey, just to see if you'd be honest with me. Hey, 20 nominations doesn't mean I can act at all. Your dick can act. Can you act? Actually, no, you can. No. You can. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. You're going to be Let's my, get off this side. my stepbrother. Yeah, apparently I'm not playing my stepbrother roles anymore. Really? Oh, yeah. you're too old now. No, I got too big. Oh, you're... Huh? Like your cock got too big? No, no my cock oh. is the same <laughs> mediocre size as it's always been. It, it um, doesn't get bigger. It's just it's just going to stay that same sad size. I don't believe that. I think that if a guy has enough sex, his dick gets bigger. Not how it works. No? No. Not mm. how it works. Your, Damn. Your, your dick is going to be one size. Like, here's, and here's like the, like the, the so your you're hope. saying all the charity work I did was for nothing? 100% for nothing. 100%. <laughs> That homeless guy it wasn't gonna get any bigger. He said he would. Yeah, I know. And he's, I kept sucking he's, it. He said a lot of things. Ugh. Like, but the, I wonder because, like, apparently, like, okay, as you get older, your nose gets longer, your ears, oh, yeah, yeah, your yeah. balls, yeah. but your dick stays the same fucking size, which is unfair, right? <sighs> well, I'm stuck with this the rest of my goddamn life. <laughs> Once I meet some bad cock, huh? Not a bad car. No, I love my penis. It's it's dealt with a lot of shit in its time. It's made you a lot of money. It has made me a lot of money, but it's uh Yeah. You know, sometimes you gotta realize you don't need to pay crew people in money. You just buy them <laughs> alcohol. And you know, when they become raging alcoholics over time, it's a it's a long process. They'll but you, always want to work for you yeah. to feel their alcohol dependency. Right? <laughs> all right, now scratch off the bottom. Yeah. And just move it all around there. Nathan, tell us more about being a male performer with an average 
Well, guys, let me tell you. You know what girls say, though? Huh. Before you get into it, girls, performers, will be like, I love working with him because his dick doesn't hurt me. Oh, no. He has boyfriend cock. And I very much understand because I've been told that many times. I'm not talking. Yeah. I talk shit on it my dick because. It's a good thing. I talk shit on my dick just because I think it's funny. Oh, yes. But I, honestly, if you've done this job for this long and then you still had a complex about your penis, it's a different thing. Now, having said industry. that, I would prefer not to have to do scenes with dudes whose dicks are like this big, but just because it looks comical for me mm. to be there with them. Yeah. It just looks weird, right? Visually, I don't know, it looks weird. I mean, I've done a scene, a boy-boy girl with Seth Gamble and Ricky Johnson. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not I saying... don't think opposites, you know, like are bad. I'm I not think saying the it's twinning bad. thing is kind of like overdone in porn. Mm. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just preferably because it like, looks weird. Why do you care what another man's cock looks like? Oh, I don't. I care about the <laughs> visual. <laughs> good, good on you, buddy. No, but I've also know that there's a lot of people in this job who very much love working with me, and I'm very happy about that. That's why they're gonna mold my dick. Yeah. Do I get a free dildo? Uh, the parent, if they said it right, they said I'm gonna get free 60 free ones. And I, I was gonna, one of those lucky 60 girls. Well, I want to see if I can give them out for Christmas with maybe some like Chipotle Oli and uh, oh boy, yeah. <laughs> well, it's like I want to make a little care package. You know, I'll scrape that in there. You're gonna get it, Dante. And it, it's gonna except I'm gonna draw my face on it and then I'm like, you gotta use it, bro. Happy face. Yeah, the, yeah, the dildo's aioli moonshine that I make myself. Okay, all right, Sex okay. Number seven, be affectionate. Oh, one second, because that is definitely not something we do in this job. Um, Talk about it. All right. So now, the oil back in there. We're going to do it with the uh, potatoes. And we're going to do some of this. Is this enough oil, sir? It is good oil. It is good oil. Dobby loves it. Oh, you know what? I'll just fucking use the smasher. Um, sex tip number 75. What one? Seven. Sex tip... Oh, I got seven, right? Fuck yeah. Sex tip number seven. Int what was it? Be affectionate. <laughs> sex tip number seven. Be affectionate. How do you feel about that? Oh, throw those uh, potatoes in there. I feel like that was my specialty when I was actively performing a lot. Yeah. Is people wanted that passion performance. Because I wasn't like a... Oh yeah, daddy. Yeah. I, I was more like a, we are in love and have been for years and we're finally fucking. That was my strat for performing. Mm -hmm. Cause I always felt that like the other shit was just too forced when it, with me. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, portraying intimacy is a lost art. I feel like a lot of porn these days is just like, Oh yeah, the guy gets the girl and she's fucking her and yeah, it's all about, it's very dude centric and not like, oh, these people like genuinely care about making each other feel good. I don't know, I just, I just want to portray. <laughs> Make people feel good. Ah. Yeah, I mean, we're in the business of pleasure. No, we're in the business of vis visual pleasure. But I have, having said that, I did very much appreciate every time I got to shoot with you because of what you did. Because after doing so many scenes where it's, yeah. where it's like you just get that fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, oh yeah, daddy, fuck yeah. You know, it's just it's, it's just like, cool. And so it was nice. And I always remember one scene in particular, and it was a scene for Nubiles. It was one that we were just on a random couch in the valley, and we did this brother-sister scene. I think it was like, we started off with like, we're like, laying under covers, and we kind of slowly, sensually touching each other. Oh, wait, no, I remember this one. Yeah. You're ignoring me. You're on your phone, yeah. ignoring me, and I'm just like, babe, babe, babe. And you just ignore me the whole time, and then finally, what do I do? I suck your dick or something, and then you pay attention to me? Yeah. Now, obviously, not the best, but the way you made me feel in that day, because obviously, I didn't remember that part. I just remember being in there, and like, I'm like, I'm having a great time with you. Aww. Because you made me feel very good. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Mm. <laughs> Wait, have we only done a couple scenes like that? Like, we've only done three. What? How many scenes have we done together? Do you know? Yeah. I thought you had Probably the three. Three? Because we did the, the staircase, 
We did that first feature. We did new biles. Unless we did a VR scene together. No. No. So like then like if that's not the case, I was like, I think that's all we did. Are you complaining? Yeah, I want more scenes with you. I've, I've said that for <laughs> years. You fucking you you weren't there to shoot with, and I wanted to shoot with you. Yeah, I had some shit to do. Yeah, so. Sex tip number eight: relax. Sex tip number eight: relaxing. <sighs> now, a big issue for me in this job is because it comes. It, some, I wish it didn't come home with me, but it does. You know. And so, how do you relax when you're having sex enough to not like? deal with the, like, the thoughts from work, almost. Does that make sense? Have sex? Like, I, like on the outside, sometimes I end up having to, because I work so much, yeah. you still, like, you almost bring work home with you, and not in a good way. Yeah, sometimes when I went home with cum in my hair, mm. yeah, no, I, honestly, I feel like I, I really didn't work that much. Yeah? I probably only have like a hundred movies. Damn. Yeah. Um, nice. It never really came home with me that there was there were some days though that like the premise of the scene I thought about and I felt bad. Like, like give an example. Um, there was a scene I did with a girl where they wanted us to be homeless and they were filming part of that like homeless scene where there was actual homeless people mm -hmm. and I just had a really big ethical problem with that like it just seemed disgusting yeah. to to include that to, to sexualize that okay. you know what I mean and did, um, so I, I, I cried when I went home because yeah. I just felt so trash about it when, and when you uh, when you came back or like like was having sex the first time after that did it kind of fuck with you at all no no god damn I wish I only did a hundred <laughs> how do you relax for sex um, so easy. Yeah? I'm mean, just like ragdoll a little bit, you know, like, nah, you know, I'm here mentally, but. Mm, right. Well, do you like being thrown around? <laughs> I do. I do, yeah. actually. I, I love feeling small because I feel like my whole life, I mean, I'm five foot seven and like the average porn chick is pretty short. Yeah. And so like, especially when I'm in a scene with a girl, you know, and like, I feel like I'm automatically made to be like the more masculine figure like or the aggressor just because of my height difference okay you know and so i would say it was for a different reason what uh you have a very strong elegant look about you that demands uh demands someone to stare at you almost you know yeah. you just have that shut up stop it <laughs> okay uh, i don't need your shit right now devil but yeah, no, I've, I mean, I remember seeing that from you a long time ago where it's, it wasn't exactly your height. It was the way you carry yourself, almost like you're going to get, just demand attention from people. Really? Yeah. Huh. You very straight up, very much, I might be a witch. I may uh, put a spell on you. I don't know. The world will never know. No, the world will never know. Never know. They'll never know. Hmm. Then how do you make people relax for you in scenes? I just help them make them feel like safe, I guess. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna do anything to hurt you. Like, I mean, you know, like I'm not a sadist, you know, like, so like, I don't know, I feel like girls especially like working with me because I don't expect them to do some crazy shit and I'm not trying to like make them feel like they're in competition and they could just relax, they don't have to, do all this shit, you know, like. But it's also been a very long time. Yeah. Last time I had sex was months ago. Really? Yeah. You busy tonight? I'm not. No. Hey, oh. I've never had any man in my bed before. I have a new bed. Yeah. Do you want to break my bed's virginity? I would 100% love to do that. Would you be honored? I would be fucking honored. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and we can let the puddles play. <laughs> Boys and girls, just go over there, you know, entertain yourselves. <laughs> we got shit to do. Oh, that smells nice. You're so pretty. What, the colors? I'm mesmerized by the colors of the potatoes. Yeah, so once we do all this and they have the asparagus run through the middle and this nice slice of steak going on top of it, uh, it should look really fucking nice. Uh, Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, you know? 
I'm quivering with anticipation. What's up? I'm quivering with anticipation. Mm. A good. Good. Tip number nine. Do Kegels. <laughs> Is that a question or just a statement? Well, it's up to you. You can think it's, it's a bullshit sex tip. and be like, come at me, WebMD. Yeah. You guys are full of shit. WebMD, you have so many interesting things. Sex tip number nine, Kegels. I'm doing them right now. Me too. I wish I could do them enough to actually get my dick hard. Apparently you can, it's just a lot of work to get Really? Your, yeah. Because if I if I do Kegels, I can feel my, my dick will pull, so it's, I've had times where it's like almost full blood and I can. Do you ever, do you ever have like a Kegel off with someone like sitting on your dick and you're just, she's like squeezing it and you're flexing it, you're squeezing it, flex it, squeeze, flex. You have a little war. Yeah, right now. <laughs> How important have Kegels been for you? Um, I have an amazing tight vagina with extremely strong muscles. I would say that if I don't want a person inside me, I could push them out. Neat. It is a self-defense mechanism around here. I have the Great Wall of China going through my <laughs> pussy. I have a, I have my, my Kegels are the guillotine for a tiny penis. Huh. Big dicks though, they're heavy, no, I can't. Yeah, it's a little bit tougher. There's more muscle behind the guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, you're just really tight. No, I'm trying to push you out, dick. <laughs> Did that help you when you were doing scenes a lot more? Oh, especially if he was going too deep. Yeah, I could push him back out. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that seemed to, was that end up being a problem where it's like guys would yes. go way too deep for you? Oh, I. Sweet man, but his dick is too long. I'm going to refrain from saying his former name. Was he on the show? No. Right. Um, but he's he's a guy. He's a man. Handsome. Sexy. Mm. Fine as hell. But his dick is long. And it's oh. kind of pointy. So like, it, oh, I know you're about. it just stabs your cervix. It's so sad that I know this penis. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because when you have enough girls on here, you get to hear that same conversation talked about. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like, oh, this guy's got a really long but pointy dick. Oh, this guy's got a really thick and wide dick. Or this guy does this. Or this guy does that. It's like, uh, it's a very interesting, interesting thing, you know? Do male performers talk about female performers like this? Uh, sometimes, kind of. Uh, I'd say, I'd say a little bit. Not. I don't think nearly as much as girls do, um, but we do talk about them. But also, I don't really talk to very many male performers anymore. Oh. So there's that. You have your little gossip sessions. <laughs> no, because I just don't like most of them. Uh, Fair. So, and I don't trust most dudes in the industry, so there's that. Keep an eye on him. He's looking suspicious. Um, but what I, I have done in the past is, like, let's say, like, one of my, my late and great buddies... We used to, to like go and talk about certain girls, like, hey, this girl good, cool. This girl's good, cool. This girl's pussy hair is like Velcro and it shreds up the side of my cock. You know, that was always a weird one. Um, Me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Butter, no. So, you know, there was things we talk about, but not nearly as much as I think the girls do. Because I think the girls make uh, more friendships and have uh, Friendships. Friendships. Yeah, those. Maybe. I mean, no. I know I have to probably do a scene with you sometime in the future, so let's be cordial. Yeah, that's more or less what I think that they're doing. Yeah. yeah. That was a hard one for me to learn. Oh, just. Because I was like, finally, I found my people. You know, I found people that, like, get me. No. No. No, we're competition. Oh, yeah. You want the award. I could give less of a fuck. I'm just happy to be part of the. The whole thing. <laughs> Dude, I, you know, honestly, that's what I thought when I first got I'm like, oh, it's like these are people with the like-minded... No. No. No, no. These people will stab you in the back. Yeah, it's for profit. Yeah. We're friends for a little bit. We're friends as long as the cameras are rolling, aren't we, Nathan? Yeah. Well, actually, I've always enjoyed your company. No, we get yeah. along. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I've always felt, and especially with the Twitch stuff. Like, I became keenly aware that it was like people were... Where's my boy? I think he went out. Okay, he can't be trusted. Can um, he swim? I don't know, he's kind of stupid. <laughs> he's kind of... 
Um, what was I saying? Uh, he's kind of oh, stupid. Yeah, Twitch. Oh. So Twitch, you know, like I was always live places, right? Yeah. And I realized that girls would be nice to me because I had my camera on. Like, oh duh, they w they did not care about me or mm. being my friend. They just knew that I was giving them free publicity. Mm. And so they want to look nice and cool. And so that was like hard for me for a minute to like respect, I guess, because like I was bringing them on because I thought we were cool. Yeah, and then I just, it's not that. Yeah. Um, yeah, one of the reasons like it's like, like I, I've, since the show's gone places, I've noticed that ain't, when I go to events now, I'm like, uh, well, I really want, why haven't I been asked to? I'm like, uh, uh, fucking just ask me. That's all you gotta do. It's like, yeah, if you want it so bad, let's talk yeah, about it. Yeah, it's like, it. dude, it's like, I am always searching for people to put on this show, so it's like, I need that. You know, it's like, but the nice thing is, you don't have to come up me like, and like, just be like, ask, just ask. Like you did. You just asked. Well, yeah, I mean, you brought it up a few times, yeah. so I'm like, hey, man, when are we gonna do it? Well, yeah. also, I didn't see you for a while, too. Yeah, well, I wasn't even in LA. Yeah. So. Because I think I remember the, the I, like, I, like, I was like, dude, where the fuck is it? And she had, I know Adam talks to you every once in a while. Yeah. So it's like, I was like, just like, how's she been? But yeah, I've always wanted to bring you on because I think I talked to you about this like, like maybe a couple years so ago. So long ago. Yeah. It might have been, no, when was, like, it might have been after the Nubile shoot. Probably. Or like one of those ones. And I was like, aren't you dating somebody? Oh, what, Kira Noir? Or is it after Kira? You were dating Kira Noir? <laughs> Um, no, uh, woman with tats. Oh, oh, my, my ex-fiance. Oh, fiance. Yeah. Oh. That didn't end well. Oh, yeah. it's my condolences, my dear boy. No, no, was it, no good relationship ends in a breakup. Yeah. I mean, like, if it does, that's a real fucked up scenario, but most of the time it does not, you know? So. How are these potatoes looking, chef? We'll see. Careful, mm. chef. Good. Want to know more salt in there? We're going to turn up the heat. Oh, boy. And what you're going to do is st keep stirring. So if you want, try some different. Look at him go. We're just going to try to get some color on them. You do that. I don't have that talent. Yeah, you do. Oh, no. I got my spatula. Put this back in there. I'll stir those bitches in. Last one is sex tip number 10. See your doctor. Can you wait till that sound dies down a little? Yeah. I got one sex tip to your doctor. <laughs> go to Riggs. <laughs> Johnny Sins? Huh? <laughs> John, yeah, go to jo Johnny Sins. Great doctor if you have the health benefits. <laughs> No, 375, fuckhead. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Stuff in there. Well, yeah, I was waiting for uh, this. Um, anyway, sex tip number... 10. 10. Sex tip number 10, see a doctor. Because you are a bad person who likes sex. And if we listen to the Catholic Church, you are wrong to do this before marriage. Shit. Correct? <laughs> I personally love seeing the doctor, because, you know, if I'm going to a doctor, there's possibly something wrong, and usually they can help. Yeah, hopefully. I, I, I'm a hypochondriac. Like, as soon as something feels wrong, I'm like, doctor, am I dying? <laughs> what? Now, I think uh, guys have a weird different understanding about, like, why they should go to the doctor, because our dick is usually just clean off, good to go. No, no. Well, that's most guys' opinion on it. That's because North American education has failed men in America on sex education. What? Mm-hmm. Would you enlighten us a little bit on that? Well, this is a made-up statistic. One in five men don't know where the clitoris is. 
So, that leads us to infer. I like that this is a base statistic. <laughs> I, I thought I'd been showing people. It's right there. Uh, but lick it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Triangle, go to the top. Well, it's more like a diamond, go to the top. There is sweat dripping down the back of my leg right now. Come lick it up. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo -wee. laughs> Just saying. Yeah, this show, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll fucking lick your leg. I don't, Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm kidding. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, it's, it's like by my knee now. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it tastes delicious. Yeah? Oh. That sweaty kitchen sweat. Mm. Yeah. I could almost cook with it. Actually, I should bottle my, my, my sweat fluids. Yeah. Have you ever thought about doing that? Recommend it for cooking. Yeah, fuck it. That girl sold her bath water. Yeah. Nathan, uh, pot check. We're gonna play a game called Guess the Male Porn Star by His Penis. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, so you intro the game, I'll show the penises, and you right. guys guess. Okay. So guys, today, first time ever, because we've been thinking about this for months, we're gonna play a little game called Guess That Porn Star's Penis. Now, I'm at a you? disadvantage. I haven't seen many porn cocks in a minute. You, am I able to answer too? Chris Diamond? That's, I know her. That's the Australian chick, uh, fucking... Is that Alex? No. Who the fuck is that? It's a giant cock. Yeah! Is that thick? Oh, is that, that that British dude? No, he's too fucking thick. They're like... Oh, it is the British guy! God damn it! Danny D. Danny D. I didn't know them British Jesus had Christ, dicks. that skinny dude has got such a fucking it's thick It's always cock. the skinny dudes that yeah. have the most massive It's, it's only because I'm guessing they the rest of their body eats that. Yeah. Eats it up. Yeah, definitely. All their metabolism goes yeah. to flowing blood there. Yeah. How's, How's that looking? looking? I think it looks great. Get out of my head. <laughs> oh, that's an easier Jason one. Jason Love. Jason Love, yeah. Yeah. I know that guy. Yeah, it's like it's hard well. to like who's got that many tattoos in black dude, you know? We used to date. Oh yeah? How was that? Nice guy? Yeah, actually. Yeah. I've never met him. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, he's done very good with real estate. <laughs> but, no, like he's done good with real estate. That's why at least I was told. <laughs> I don't fucking know if that's true or not. Is that fucking, what's that other British guy who works with Brazza all the time? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, older guy. It's a very straight, consistent looking penis. I feel like I know both. Do we get a hint? Yeah, can I get a silver? Is the owner bald? Jo Johnny Sins. Is it Johnny Sins? Look at that, I didn't know his dick was that big. Good for you, Johnny, good for you. Uh, hey, I'm doing really good. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's dump this in here. All right. One second. Now we're going to the uh, hard part. Oh, I love the hard part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, actually, you need to season your steaks. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So, what we're gonna do, pull these stakes out. Okay. One second, sir, we'll come back to this game in one minute. Cut these bad boys out. You can throw some salt and pepper on them. Stop it! I did that in front of someone once and they're like, you're so violent. <laughs> you're a giant bag of pussy. While you're doing that, say, next penis. Next penis! Aw, that's my ex. Um, is that? Oh, it's Owen Gray. It's Owen Gray. Yeah. Without his new tattoos. No, I think his other is uh. No, he got he got like a, he's got crazy tats now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Man, she looks so good. Uh, salt and pepper. So, how are you with seasoning meat? I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, let's see. 
A little bit, a lot more. A lot, lot more? Yeah. You want me to be crazy? Not much crazy. Like that? Just, like that much? Yeah, about that much on both sides. Next cock! That's not... It's, it's not even hard. Uh, it's, it's not, not Isaiah. Even hard. His, it's his not, not. I don't think enough. that's uh, fucking what's his name? Um, uh, Slayer. Definitely not, not Slayer. They both have skinnier dicks. No. Um, is that fucking uh, 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 fucking what's his name? I feel like he's not used anymore. Uh, who is it? Pull it out. I think it's. Whoa! Oh shit! Ricky Johnson. I did, huh. did, not ex did not expect oh, that. I haven't seen his dick in a fucking minute. <laughs> Do you want me to be crazier with my seasoning? No, oh, it's good. It looks good. Am I Just being... pat it in a little bit. I'll Say, give it a okay, nice rub down. One. Last one. Last one. Last penis. Last penis. Oh, it's mine. Why does it look so smooth? Uh, Did they see, airbrush see, your balls? Well, no, see up there? That's where a tattoo used to be of two fighting crabs. Yeah, but why does your dick and balls look so smooth? It's like they airbrushed it. Maybe they did. I don't know. My balls do look unnaturally round right there. No, it looks fake. You yeah. look like you don't... <laughs> it's not a real dick. I mean, I've fucked that. Yeah. I've licked them. Mm -hmm. Definitely I, have. I think this picture is misleading. It is very misleading. I know. I can even tell you the the guy who shot it. <laughs> That's uh, Scott from uh, Devils. <laughs> because it's like, hey, you wash hands. Oops, sorry. sorry. Now let's do another one. Whose vagina is that? <laughs> Where is the animal fat? Excuse me, excuse me. Ow. I guess hold for a second. Let me get a spoon. Excuse me, goes. So now we're gonna do how we've slow cooked some of these, and I'm hoping we did it good enough because I think they may have gone in. The right amount of time, but they, for those were for a little bit thicker, so we're gonna try our best to do this with a quick sear. Oh okay? boy. Yeah. What's we, this? This is uh, duck fat. Oh. Yeah. You ever you use duck fat? No. Oh. Love it. It makes your skin really soft. Do you jerk off with it? Uh, well, no, I used to uh, use it when I was in that kitchen all the time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, because we, when you confit something, that's just cooking in its own fat. Oh. So we confit duck. Smoke it, then put it back in its fat, and put, but so your hands would be all in the fat, and so uh, your skin would just be super soft. That was really nice. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Mm. So, question. Yes. You did Twitch streaming, or you do Twitch streaming for a yes. long time. How did that start? Manuel Ferrara had me on his stream right before we did a, a movie. Yeah. And I was like, well, wow, his chat's really nice. I want to. Oh, okay, I'll give Twitch a try. So I made an account, and yeah, I just started doing it and didn't stop. And it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What were the? Uh, did you get a lot of good fans from that? Yeah. Yeah. Because what I discovered is a lot of people don't always want to see me. You know being hot they want to be able to watch me at work they want to be able to watch me elsewhere they think that my personality is good you know like mm -hmm. they want to hear me talk about stuff but they don't want to just be seeing me like you know the only content that exists is just porn that limits them on how much they can enjoy me oh okay yeah i guess they can't watch that at work huh no mm, intriguing so <laughs> we're gonna do is stick this thing in there sear it off on one side once that gets a nice crust and we're gonna flip it over and do it again Make sense? I'm scared. Why? Of hot things. Don't be. Does that help? I'm scared of you. Oh, shut up. No, you're not. <laughs> Nathan asked how many people tell her she looks like Jennifer Lawrence. How many people tell you you look like Jennifer Lawrence? All the time. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Pull picture. Bam. <laughs> on the James Porn parody? 
The Jennifer Lawrence is the one from Hunger Games, the lead actress. That's yeah. her name. I want to fuck you way more than I want to fuck her. Yeah, she's kind of, yeah. Whatever. Um, no, still throw one of the pieces of meat in there. But it looks like it's already cooked, Nathan. Yeah. Well, that's because we reverse seared it. So we slow cooked it in the oven. And so now we're just trying to put the crisp crust on the outside. Yeah. So that's this process. And then what we're going to do. Well, I'm that's so going, mystified. Mystified. What a good word for that. What's that? Mmm, carry a gold. It's only the, the best butter for Nathan Bronson and his fans. So, mm. so go with that. Butter. Just get another fucking spoon. Then what I want you to do, get some of that fat and just dump it on top of that. Hard to... Ow. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, it doesn't feel great, but you know, mm. like every porn girl knows, you know, it's gotta, ow. it's gotta hurt to actually get it good. No, ow. <laughs> okay. Ow. No. Well, stop burning yourself. Put it right there. What? What? It's not my fault. It's burning me. I'm there just, we go. In the splash zone. Let's see that. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> That's what we're just trying to do. We're just trying to get that nice crust on it. Then we let it sit for 10 minutes, and then we can eat it. Can you give a little salt and pepper on this bad boy? Yes, sir. Keep going. All right, that's good. See how that guy's doing. Give it look. You can you can get splattered if you like. <laughs> look at how you handle that meat. I know what the ladies like. Yeah, you're really good. At it. <laughs> as a as a female performer, what makes a really good male performer to you? A guy who doesn't have a crazy ass ego. Hmm. Like, listen here, buddy. You wouldn't get pussy if you weren't in this industry because your attitude is rancid. I hate, hate, hate when like a dude goes on the set and like, he's like, I'm the man. Like, it's like, dude, you're, you're just a cock. Mm. You're just a human dildo. Mm. Get over yourself. Agreed. So a good performer is one that's humble and doesn't yeah. like. Got to stick that up there. Humble and. Anything else? And sexy. <laughs> There's not enough sexy men in the industry. Agreed. I feel like <laughs> Agreed. the ones that used up. to be hot, they're, they've gotten a little old. Yeah. Perhaps. Do we need new garlics? Uh, yeah, throw some in there. Go ahead. Then on the same note, what makes a good female performer? Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is the problem we've been having because we're cooking steaks. That's why I wanted to uh, do all the meat stuff outside because we did that, but then Scott got all the fucking pads, so we can't do it now. Don't really matter. Mm. Well, honestly, we can actually stop in a second because we'll just uh, sear this one off, sear the other one off, and then we'll be oh, done. Yeah, that does fuck the light. Yeah. It does. Yeah, no, I just shot it. It's fine. We'll just sear it. Boom. I'll we'll oh, come back to turn... <laughs> oh, 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 that is adorable. This is for show? I, I, I told them to give me something good, and then they uh, did not. So, oh, yeah, so it's, it's pretty much just for show. Okay. I can still see you even with this one. It just, it just looks... It is kind of intense. Um, yeah, but so what for you makes a good female performer? I mean, I feel like a lot of women in the industry have this complex, like a, 
like a like a competition complex with mm -hmm. everyone um, and girls that treat it like a a normal job are a lot better than like just better performers than someone who does it all because they think that they're just like the hottest gift to the, mankind. Uh, <laughs> the, their pussy is the best thing that ever hit the world. You know, Can't like see. I feel Can't like see. again, ego makes performers less yes. attractive. Yes, agreed. And it is a fantastic thing when you get to work with those girls. Oh, I can only imagine. Yeah. Uh, I love had a girl piss on my face to ruin my makeup just so that she could be the hot one. <laughs> like. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no warning, just piss on the face. It was honestly like one of the like most like shitty moments to realize like somebody would do that. Oh, do I have to tell you guys that? <laughs> I'll try one of these. Mm. No more salt. They'll absorb flavors, no. won't they? A little bit. Mm. Oh, with the it's, onion. I think it's good. Yeah. The onion is so good. Can you ask Nathan if he's ever seen a male performer do something shady like that? Have you ever seen a male performer do something shady like piss on someone's face so that they'd be the... Yeah, they pit on my face. What? <laughs> no, uh, well... <laughs> um, I've seen male performers do stuff not on... No, I have seen them do shady stuff, but I don't think that's as much of like we were planning to be d dickheads to each mm -hmm. other. I remember there was one time a long time ago where there was... Um, it was a kink gangbang, and the guy uh, was doing the D, was doing the anchoring, and the guy was on top. His dick fell out, hit the guy's leg. The dude got up and started screaming at him about like, I don't do that gay shit, whatever the fucking reason was. Yeah, a whole thing, right? But right. I've seen more guys, like I've seen guys do catty shit outside. Like what? Like. Maybe they'll be friends with you, and then they'll go tell the girl that maybe you're hitting on. It's like, oh well, he does this. I'm like weird catty shit. So I think it's kind of some of the things that like because these us are around girls so much. Sometimes we take that fucking catty persona oh, and go with it. Don't blame us. I'm not blaming you, but I am blaming the fact that these guys are bitches sometimes. Um, so, you know, I've seen that happen a multiple times. Sometimes to me, sometimes to the other. And I'm just like, and it's like. But the, they're sabotaging. Yeah, it's everyone's kind of sabotaging this job. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of a uh, super lame. Trust nobody. No, nope, don't trust anyone. Don't trust fucking anyone. Watch out, oh shit, I'm so sorry, buddy, buddy. I'm sorry. I'll give you a piece of steak. He can't have. Buddy. I will let you smell my fingers. I'm so sorry. Okay, watch this. Yeah, he has a bad habit of being like behind foot. Yeah, no, so does Puddle No, sometimes. no, no, get out. He's like, Mama. Watch out. I be with you. Do you like your asparagus a, have a little bit of a crunch or a little bit soft? Uh, a little bit of uh, al dente. Al dente. I don't so even know what that means. Perfect. Or like a, no, it's got a nice, it's good. Is it's that good, what? yeah. yeah but like like a, being, can, we, can we just make it good? It's good, yeah. Okay, then it's, it's good. good. Yeah. All right, let's Puddles. get the dogs out of the Puddles. kitchen. Out. Get. Go, 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 get out. Come to here, Puddles. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had bacon wrapped asparagus? I have. It is. It's a delicacy. It's a delicacy in some countries, you know, no big deal. <laughs> All right, let's see. Put this over here. Well, I'm thinking this. Make a nice little pile. Oh, wait, you know what? I know what to do. Skew me, dog. Skew me, skew me, skew me, skew me. Oh, baby. No, nope. it's over here. Here we go. Wait, he tucked his tail like, oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, Nathan, you have a professional experience in the kitchen, uh? Nope. Ooh. Nope, not at all. Oh. Could have had me fooled. This is a. Uh... Oh, fuck yes. Oh, that looks delicious.
I'm guessing you like a little bit rare. Of course. Mm -hmm. Not of course. Sometimes a. Uh, who the fuck likes it all well done? I. Uh, communists. Um, people who are afraid that the meat is poison. <laughs> go go go, Huts. Baby, you gotta get out of here. He's so sweet, mm. but just kind of dumb. <laughs> Mm. Ooh. That's nice. Okay. Mm, no. Sorry, guys. This is the quiet time in the show. He's focusing. No. Damn it. I wish I made that truffle sauce. Nathan, do something weird like... Uh... Oh, if I put it around, yeah. Wait. Talk about what's coming up for both of you. Yeah. What's coming up for you, besides just looking gorgeous? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I currently have absolutely no plans in my life. I'm just coasting. I am just existing. I play a lot of video games. Yeah. And I make videos to sustain my addiction. I'm not really sure where to go from here, to be honest. Mm. I don't think there's anything happening. Not that I can remember right now. Boom. It's probably not a good thing. It may might be. Stupid Look place. at that. Who knows if it's a good or bad thing? Life is going. A little more, a little more. Boom. It's giving delicious. God damn it. Oh no. Did you fix that for me? I'm trying. <sighs> there, there's meat. Needs more green. It definitely needs more green. Needs more green, chef. <laughs> yes, chef. Right away, chef. I just started watching the bear, actually. How do you like it? Too much yelling. <laughs> uh, know what I have a problem with? Huh? I get massive anxiety from it. Yeah, no, I was yeah, watching like, it at like one in the morning, and it, I was like, this is not, uh, Son of a bitch. Not the, the mood right now. No. It's falling, it's falling. Fuck it. God. We're gonna eat it all the same. There you go. Okay. Here's a fork. Ooh. Here's this. Move this over. Come on, huh? Ooh. Would you please enjoy? You tell me what you think. All right. All right. I want to bite with almost everything in there. Ooh, oh my God, it just like fell apart. That was good. Yeah. That was cool. Actually, I was thinking about trying to salt the uh, potatoes a little more, but it's kind of like the sweetness within the onions kind of come through with the, um, oh, that's nice. Aww. I like it. Pretty good. No? Yeah. Well done. Mm. <laughs> oh, fuck. There you go, buddy. There you go. Yeah. Mm. This is wonderful. And the textures all go together very nicely. Mm. It's like potatoes, asparagus, and beef are meant to be served together. Mm. An onion. Can't forget the onion. Mm. Well, anyway, thanks so much for coming on the show. I hope you enjoyed the, you know, whatever this is. I was just so hungry, you see. Ah! I want you to chew it and spit it in my mouth. <laughs> Baby bird me. Okay. <laughs> Do you like it? Thanks for watching. Pull out and subscribe. Pull, pull. Oh, uh, hey guys. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, please subscribe. Uh, also, check out our merch store. Uh, new stuff coming out all the time. 
and hopefully having more people in all the time where we don't smoke out my house. But you know, no, I'm not that house. It's actually a kitchen somewhere downtown LA. Um, also, um, tune in next week, guys. And thank you so much for coming on. You were a pleasure to have on. It only took me four years to get you on this, so I'm so happy mm -hmm. we finally got this to happen. Thank you. You are gorgeous. Mm. Would you like to plug into your uh, stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do it with your, do, say it with your food in mouth. <coughs> say it. Say it. You can find me on Twitter at Love Evelyn Claire, L-U-V-E-V-E-L-Y-N-C-L-A-I-R-E. -E. If you like my live streams, you can watch me on twitch.tv slash official Evelyn Claire. Bye, guys! Mm.